that was very interesting. <laughs> I actually, I actually died on return. So let's uh, try that again. We actually didn't waste any time because I didn't actually do anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A cost lore, cost lore with uh, a little bit of hyper heaving there. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it out. Don't worry, I got it. Let's see what we got here. I mean, this is doable. It's got a scram drive anyway. I could just capture it and do nothing with it, but you know what? We'll take your triple plasma core. We'll take this guy. We'll take your liquid sodium cooler, even though those are easy to get now. Okay. A lore nag. We got any uh, capturable things here? Oh, wait. There's a... Um... I don't understand. Okay, that one is perished. They're all perished. Okay. Lore nag. Let's get... The... No, no. Too bad you can't, like... Alright. I don't understand. Did I go back to proximity? No, I did value. I don't, I don't get what's going on here, so... I'll... I don't get it. Alright. Oh, okay. Sure. What is that ship? Out of here. Uh oh, one of my ships is gonna die. Uh oh, I have to restart. Uh oh, one of my ships died. This is crazy. Okay, gotta be a little bit more careful now. I'm not wasting any time. I keep reloading the game. Oh, we're going to get in and out. We're going to get in and out. Now see, capturing this is worth it. Boom. So this will waste some time. Oh my gosh. Now, now you're all gonna die, down under my butt. How dare you, bounty hunters, try to get me? How dare you? Kill them all! My ship has been destroyed. Can you believe this? Something's weird with the actual. Did they change something with the, uh, the ship? I don't remember my ships being, like, so protective of me when there was enemies. When there was enemies, they used to just, like, go and kill them all the time. Uh, well, I have no idea. Whatever. Because a lot of my ships are actually just hanging near me now. When there's a lot of en- Oh, my goodness. Hold on a second. Okay. So we've got... So now, that's a lot of ships coming in. Come on, bud. Come on, bub. See what you got going on here. I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take the Inferno. And uh, that's it, I'll take the one of those. Great. Let's see, is there any, like... We're gonna have it. We're gonna have a real tough time. Oh my god, okay. You know what? This is crazy. I don't know what is going on here. This is like game like hates me right now. So okay, there's gonna be like a fleet. Here we go. I want you to gather around my ship. Don't be crazy here. You guys nuts? Now you cannot gather around my ship while we can murder and dissect all these people. How dare you? Yeah, that's right. And we get. Oh, they killed it. 
kill all these people. Mop all these ships up. Let's see here. We'll just clean up all these ships up here. Why not? Okay, good. Took out those people. That's crazy. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I was just getting murdered by ships left and right. Now, let's see if we can do this. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's see here. Probably not going to be good because this other ship is going to just kill it. But we'll protect it real quick. Okay. Uh oh. Tell you what, let's uh, jump out of here before my ships die. Actually, one of my ships looked pretty close to dying. But as long as we got them in. There we go. We're good. Got it. Wow, it's like the um, the Korath, the enemy Korath are like really getting, they're like really getting after you now. 17 million, sure. So this is good, we're wasting time now. Now we gotta, wa gotta waste two months. Gather around my ship. Something's different with the AI, I think. It's very strange. Yeah, it looks like it definitely did nerf all these heat guns. Which is unfortunate too. So I might need more ships now. I'm gonna capture you. Ah, let's see what else you got here. You guys can just chill out for a second. See if I can get something to sell off while I'm here. I will take your triple plasma core and that, and your inferno, because why not? And your liquid sodium cooler. And now let's waste some time and go sell it off. Okay, for real. All right, so we got enough to sell off now. As we waste some time, perfect. Shipyard, sell that. Imagine you're just selling like alien ships. And you're just like, yeah, whatever. So we're gonna store these. I got a lot in storage. Uninstall, uninstall. Uh, what else do I have? In cargo, let's see here. Okay. Don't want any of those. Sell. 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 Keep those just in case. Do do do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Not in storage. Get out of here. Let's see here. Okay. Sell. Okay, there you go. Sell. I think that's correct. All right, let's get rid of that. Go back over here. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, they definitely nerfed it. Yeah. I got you, don't worry. Don't kill it, I just want to see something. Scram drive, alright, we didn't make a mistake. I'll take your triple plasma core. Let's see here. Alright, so that's the value one. So far, but let's just... Let's see here, we need a ship to capture, because that's where the actual meat and potatoes of this will be. Take that. Take this lore nag here. They're just taking triple plans of course. Why not? What do we got here? Ah, here we go. Okay, that one blew up. Uh-oh, mines. Don't like mines. What else we got? I hear stuff going on. I hear stuff. I hear stuff. Alright, come on. What do we got? We got anything? Oh, yeah, well, there we go. Nope, blew up. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna capture this one. If he doesn't die, he might die. I will attempt to capture you, which I will actually capture you. Alright, we've got that. Let's go down to here and sell our spoils. Gotta wait for that ship to come. Come on, baby. Got it. Now, let's go to the shipyard and we'll sell this. Outfitter. Cargo. Uninstall that one. Sell, sell, sell. Good. There we go. We're almost up to 300 million. Wasting a little bit of time. But I'm trying to do it like a little faster. Here we go. I kill, I mean capture. Oh, look, it costs lower, but I think it actually works. Well, oh, let's go check it out. See if, see if my sorrow is will be intact. Scram drive, which is good. I'm gonna take your triple plasma core. And what's this guy over here? Yeah, what's that? Uh, what is this one? I don't know what this one was, but it looks crappy. And if I attempt to take this, it's going to be pretty, pretty nuts. But we're going to do it anyway. My ship's going to be moving all erratically now. Land. My ship is moving erratically. Let's, uh, let's give it a little, uh, boost. Oh my god, here we go, here we go, okay. Here we go, we're doing it, we're doing it. Uh, got it, oh, got it, yep. Oh, here we go, we got it. You receive an urgent call from John. 
who has been working on the mysterious Sharangi black box for about a month now. Captain Schatz, I have some bad news and some worse news. Which one do you want to hear first? The worst news. Well, some people invaded my lab during the night and stole a lot of things I was working on. Thankfully, my insurance covers most of it, and I still have most of my heavy, expensive equipment, but the box, it's gone. And the bad news, you ask. The less bad news is that this is a lot more complicated than I thought. I found out that the data in the box has survived and can still be recovered after all this time, but it will need some specialized hardware and knowledge that we don't have yet. Your heart sinks. What do we do now? Do you have any idea where to find the box? Did you contact law enforcement? I did what I could, but if this was mandated as I suspect, the police aren't going to help and the box is probably off-world by now. However, if you have some cash on hand and you're willing to go the extra mile to recover the box, there might be a way. What do you mean? Albert's methods are non-standard, to say the least. And we've dealt with a certain individual once, an information dealer who lives on Stormhold. Sketchy person. Seems to have informants nearly everywhere and knows about everything. The individual in question is known as Maman. If you want to find the box, dealing with Maman is probably your best bet. Thank you. I'll see if I can find this dude. Knowing their methods, they'll likely find you first. But don't be alarmed. They're not evil, per se. Just be careful, all right? Well, it looks like the, the plot has thickened and also has continued, so that's good. So let's see here. Let's get rid of all of the stuff that we have, which I think is just the triple plasma core. There, now we got some cash on hand. Good to go. Let us continue. Where, where are we going here? Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're going over here. The dominated planet of mine? Yeah. Don't find me. That's more like I want to find him. Ah, here we go. Despite the obvious hostility the locals display towards you, you safely entered Stormhold's atmosphere. You're still halfway through the descent when a robotic modulated voice hails you. I heard you were looking for me, Aaron Schatz. The person on the other end says, Who are you? How do you know my name? The mysterious person laughs. Ha ha! It looks like I know more than you know yourself. I am, I am who you're looking for, of course. Maman Information Vendor, at your service, the voice states ominously. Come meet me in person to discuss the specifics of what you're looking for. The connection cuts, and you receive coordinates to land in a seemingly random location that appears to be in the middle of the sea. You arrive at the coordinates in the middle of nowhere under stormy conditions. You begin to question whether you received the correct coordinates until a massive submarine emerges from the waves. It is a gargantuan vessel, and as lights guide you above, and as guys lo- blah. And as lights guide you to land on its deck, there's no way my world ship is landing on this deck. You notice that it, despite the size of your ship, it comfortably fits on the deck. No. No. Where it is automatically secured in place by magnetic locks. Armed men in business suits around, surround your ship, and once you disembark, two of them guide you inside. You're led into a dimly lit room with a holographic map of the galaxy on the ceiling and the desk, behind which a hooded figure sits. There we are, away from private eyes. Please take a seat. They say their voice has a strange tone with no distinguishable gender, with a sibilant, a sibilating, guttural accent. And it's not until you sit down you notice a reptilian snout oh, poking out of the hood. You don't know whether this is natural and extreme body modification. Hmm. Are you, uh. They cut you off grinning. Forget it. You need to steal the whole planet for that information. You need to steal whole plants for that information. Which I've done. I've dominated this planet. So, were the alphas like reptilian? I don't remember. Let's get to what matters. You want to find that alien artifact, yes? You nod in response. I have the information you need. Finding lost objects is most trivial of my services, but as with everything, it has a price. Ten million credits, they say, non-negotiable. And don't try anything funny. Uh, let's see here. That's a lot of... I'm, watch this. I'm going to do this. It's probably like 20 million credits. That's a lot of money just for information. Wait, wait, I need to think about this. No, I don't want to do that. Can you make it cheaper? What part of non-negotiable did you not understand? You're pushing your luck, Captain. I didn't expect you to be such a petty money pincher. 
How about this? You tell me when I don't blow up your ship and your pirate friends. Oh my god, are we doing this? Yes. Oh, and I just died. Let's see here. The moon just smiles, displaying sharp teeth and licking them with a forked tongue. More entertaining than in intimidating. Really? You think you can intimidate me? It's your funeral, human. If you were smart, you know that my power far exceeds yours, especially in my own home. You know I can't let you leave here alive now. It would set a bad precedent for me. Safety is my top priority. You look around and the men in suits are pointing guns at you, alien guns before you can react. The moon shoots you from under the tail, fatally injuring your abdomen. Yes! Your half-conscious body is dragged out by the submarine. Your ship is being shredded to pieces by alien weapons. The last thing you see. Dun, dun, dun. That's the end, isn't it? You have died. I, I actually like when the story actually does that kind of stuff. Where it's like, you made a bad choice and you died. Let's see what happens if we do the right choice.